the times had not always been so glorious. 1980s. For the Indian leather industry, the times were fraught with tension and uncertainty. Excise duties were high. There was very little infrastructure. The hub of the Indian leather manufacturers, West Bengal, was facing dire times. Something needed to be done. 1987. It all started in a small chai stall in Kolkata's Chadni Chowk. Seven people were gathered. S.S. Soni, Anup Chatterjee, Mukund Kulkarni, Nari Kalwani, Gulchan Kumar Gulati, Pradeep Botra and V.K. Dandania. They were the leaders of the leather community of West Bengal. Out of their joint crisis, was born an idea. The Indian Leather Products Association, ILPA. It was maybe just destiny or it was, no, no special effort was taken to do something like that, but it just happened. And these people met at some point of time and then they decided that what should we do? ILPA now started helping its members to reach out to the West with value-added finished leather products. It envisioned the need for an awareness of the international fashion standards and led its members to participate in fairs in Germany, France and Italy, building an image before the international markets. Soon, ILPA wanted its very own fair. In Kolkata's Park Hotel had started the first leather fair. We started with the Park Hotel where we uh, hire a few rooms uh, and display our product and then we uh, invited uh, the uh, international customers from Germany, Italy, France, UK and other part of the world. Leather Vision in 1986. Leather Vision is converted to International Leather Goods Fair with the support of Council for Leather Export and the central government. And the, same, and the same venue, we also started the fashion show, which is that kind of time, for the first time in Calcutta. And then, the International Leather Goods Fair was started in Kolkata with the support of the government. The crowning glory of this fair was the Ilpa Fashion Show. West Bengal, Madras, then Delhi, and then Bombay. Soon, Ilpa reached all four of the country's metro cities. 1996. The Supreme Court was debating on whether to label the leather products as a polluting industry. Ilpa now led the fight, upholding its members' rights. A vision emerged. Acres of land were lying barren in Bantola. Ilpa conceived its next milestone. A sprawling leather goods park covering over 60 acres in Bantola. The only one of its kind in India. The Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion, Government of India. The Council for Leather Exports and the Government of West Bengal jointly supported Ilpa for making this dream a reality. Exclusively managed by the ILPA Infrastructure Development Foundation, the Leather Goods Park offers manufacturing units and studio space for all. Fully operational, the park would provide employment to over 60,000 workers. Queening it over the park is Freya, ILPA's special design studio the first of its kind in Asia. Funded by the UNDP, Freya offers the latest state-of-the-art machinery and designing facilities to all. Trained professionals work on special designing softwares. The samples produced are of international standards. The common facility center is equipped with precision machines that enable efficient and cost-effective production. Computerized sewing machines, dyeless cutting machines, 
embroidery machines. The staff are exceptionally well trained and totally devoted to their precision work. Workshops, trainings and seminars keep its technical team well abreast of the developments on the global platform. In collaboration with EDII and IL&FS, the next milestone was the branding of industrial safety products. Pioneered by Paresh Rajda, the Responsible Quality Circle was formed, branding the image of Indian industrial leather goods in the international fairs. Ilpa's publications, its magazines, film productions, audiovisual training programs, and its very own website give a platform to its members. Now its members are supplying to premium brands like Louis Vuitton, Prada, Coach Radley, Todd's, Zara, Marks and Spencer to name a few. In an effort to get the local population trained and absorbed into the leather industry, ILPA has set up the ILPA Tech, a technical training school spread over a sprawling area of 40,000 square feet. It envisions employment for another 100,000 workers. Trust, interrelationships, healthy competition. It is ILPA's vision to unite all its members to uphold Indian leather before all the world. Soon, the day might come when India becomes the one-stop destination for all foreign buyers. Its motto reigns supreme, perceive and persevere. ILPA, a name that can now proudly celebrate its 25 years. Come, join us.